Ja. Ja, ik val er niet op. En ik heb hem ook nog een keer ontmoet toen hij nog heel klein was. Toen was hij daar echt zeker op dat baby en deden we samen promo in Duitsland. En toen hij botste steeds op me, op me af. Maar toen was hij een soort van de hoogte van. Ja! Hello and welcome to my third hockey vlog. In this vlog I will tell you and show you something about the end of indoor season that is happening right now. I will uh, show you the start of the outdoor season that is also going on right now. Some clubs are already uh, going onto the pitch. Some clubs are uh, done indoors and going to go onto the pitch. And Belgium is a bit earlier than in Holland, uh, so they are already on the pitch as well. Uh, and then I've got a question, a question from uh, Len Lucas on my last hockey vlog. He said, uh, can you please show me your workout? Um, that's a bit difficult, but uh, my workout, I'm not going to videotape it because I'm not working out to be a better hockey player since I've stopped ho playing hockey. Uh, I work it for myself, it's different. And um, But I'm going to show you some uh, of the exercises I did while while I was playing hockey and I had a lot of benefits about of it so uh, I got much fitter I got stronger I got more explosive as a goalie um, so I'm gonna show you and a couple of exercises uh, which you can uh, apply to your uh, daily maybe weekly uh, training sessions um, and it helped me a lot so I hope it can help you as well so, um, have fun. So, those were uh, a couple of uh, indoor clips. As you can see, I'm still coaching some of the goalies. Uh, the most uh, are on um, yeah, now the end of the season. So, at Amsterdam, I coach now the four teams and the first ladies team that are still uh, run, up and running for the Dutch national champions and the youth under 18, under 16 and under 14 girls are in the semi-finals, the boys under 16 as well in the semi-finals and uh, for Lara I also coach the boys and uh, boys under 18 and boys under 16 are in the semi-finals and then the first ladies team of Amsterdam they're still playing uh, with Charlotte and uh, with Laia uh, for uh, a place in the playoffs uh, for t in two weeks and maybe for the semi-final or the, or the final so uh, they will find out tomorrow because tomorrow they will have the uh, last matches um, the other thing is that uh, we also do a lot uh, the goalie academy we do it outdoors we do it as well indoors uh, weekly we have about 40 goalies that will train with us on different locations um, so that's also quite a lot of fun uh, and you see, can see that uh, outdoors goalie training uh, is getting normal but indoors it isn't for a lot of clubs so uh, those goalies they 
look for the training sessions at our place and uh, they, you can see the real the benefits of it. They are getting a lot better and um, that's very nice to see. So for now, to the next part. Um, I want to tell you a bit more about um, the, the strength training, uh, the explosiveness training, uh, which I did uh, while I was playing. Um, I started really uh, enthusiastic playing when I was 24, something about that. Then I uh, worked for Sportways and I thought about the incomplete idea uh, of um, what does the goalie do? And there's really an idea about uh, behind it. And when I was younger, I was just stopping balls and didn't think about it at all. Uh, and then uh, with Sportways, I, I came up uh, to go one more time. Uh, I figured out, okay, there's a real idea about it. There's a complete technique about it, to how to stop a ball, why do it, and how do you do it. Um, so at a late, uh, it came back to me. At a late point, I uh, thought, okay, really serious shit. Uh, there's an idea about it, and um, uh, then I got better. So I thought it myself at first. Then I went training with Martijn Driver. I uh, got, of course, a lot better uh, because of him. Um, then I stepped from the first class to the Overgangsklasse uh, at HDM. I played there for two years. And then I moved to Amsterdam. And um, the day I went to uh, Amsterdam to live here, I talked to uh, an old friend. Um, and he asked me, oh, okay, what are you going to do now for hockey? And I said, I really have no idea. And he said, okay, uh, we miss a goalie at Pinoquet and uh, just train a couple of times with us and maybe it's something for you and maybe you will stick, uh, stick around and maybe you won't. So I trained there the entire summer and uh, I played there for my three last years. So um, where I started at my old club uh, at fourth class, so the lowest in Holland at uh, senior level, I worked my way up in 10 years uh, to the Hofklasse. So um, that's about my story. And uh, the strength training really helped me with it. So the last two years, um, I was fit. And therefore, I wasn't really fit. Um, and the videos you're going to see now uh, will help hopefully you uh, as well in getting uh, fit and getting stronger. So um, have fun. And think about it discuss this with your physical trainer if you have it if you don't have it discuss this with your coach because this is something that you don't really want to do alone so strength training is really important it's getting more important uh, but it's something you have to do with some guidance because um, if you don't do that um, you can injure yourself and you don't want that it's also not about the weights in the videos you will see that I use certain weights, um, don't copy it, uh, start with low weights um, because otherwise you get injured. I do this now for a very long time, so maybe my weights are a bit higher. Doesn't matter, start low, start for where you feel comfortable with and then uh, maybe push a bit. But still, it is about getting explosive, getting stronger and not about being a bodybuilder. Yeah, so don't go to the, the big plates. Okay, have fun. Okay, so what we have here is a jump squat. So you go down, not all the way, and then up. So it's a bit different than a normal squat. A normal squat, you want to go deeper, but this is the position in which normally about the goalie is standing. So that you are a bit in, uh, bended in your knees, so hanging in your knees. And there you feel the tension and from there you want to be explosive, not all the way down. So you can do this next to the normal squats uh, to be more explosive in uh, the upper legs. So, so you can go explosive towards the sides, um, can explosive in uh, maybe a sprint. So uh, explosiveness in the legs is very important. Then you can do this as a different exercise for that explosiveness. You can jump with one leg on a place 
um, it can be a box, it can be a bench, uh, it can be whatever you want, it can be a step, uh, a stairs, and you do that first a couple of times on your left leg and then a couple of times on your right leg. Also very important, when you jump up, stand still, there's also the control and the control is needed to be uh, much stronger. Um, and when you step out, that you stay there and not fall down because you're too strong. So the control is also very important. Okay, another thing to be explosive in your legs and very important are your glutes and uh, your hamstring. So in this exercise, you train your glutes and your hamstring. And what I do extra is I hold a disc and I rotate with my upper body to train my core as well. And so up and stay there. Next is the back and your back is just like the hamstring, uh, a very uh, weird spot for hockey players because they tend to back, uh, bend over a lot. Uh, so they have a lot of back and hamstring problems. So in the last exercise, it was uh, training your hamstrings and to train your back is also a very important one. And you can do this with a pull up, but uh, here you see an eccentric pull up that is a bit easier than a normal pull up because normal pull up, you have to pull up your compli complete weight and here you jump up a bit and you let yourself go down as slow as you can with the tension on your muscles instead of your uh, muscles in your back instead of completely on your arms. So look up a bit while doing it. The next exercise is a core stability exercise. You can do this on both ways. You're going to stand first in a side plank. You grab a light weight and really a light weight. And you move like this, so from under your body to above. And this whole movement makes sure that your complete core wants to move. You want to fall down uh, because of the weight that is uh, uh, grabbing uh, your body. And that way you have to uh, yeah, every time readjust your core stability and to make sure you're in that plank position and stay in a plank position. And that's why you train it. The next exercise is an exercise for your complete upper legs. So you're going to stand a bit wide and it's a variation, variation to a squat. So you're going down one way. So you do a squat on one side and a lunge on the other leg. This is a good exercise for your upper legs. Uh, as well as the inside of your legs uh, and you work it both ways uh, apart so not together so that means that uh, one leg can't help the other leg uh, while doing an, a normal squat so it's much tougher and much better for both legs okay now we have two last exercises that are good finishers and this one is for the entire body but a good one for goalies because goalies step most of the times to the side explosive and here you have the explosive stepping to the side but with an extra weight that you have in your hands so this is a, a much tougher exercise than when, when you do, do this normally and it's very exhausting and the last exercise I'm going to talk about is a, another car stability uh, exercise because car stability is very important for goalies. You need to be explosive, but also your core needs to be very good to, re to react on every ball. Here you see the pale of press. Pale of press is an elastic band that you attach to a pole, something, and you hold it. Make sure there's a lot of... Um, strength on the elastic band and when you move it forwards your upper body will tend to go to the left in this way you can also do it of course on the other side um, and in this way you move your and train your core without really doing crunching so those are some exercises you can do for uh, your normal training sessions um, you can do it in front of your training, you can do it on a different day than your normally training is, you go to training or your hockey training. Um, these are not 
all of the exercises that you, you can do. These are just a couple of examples. And if you don't have any idea what to do, you can do this. But of course, you can do a lot of other things as well. Uh, also look on the internet and maybe uh, comment in uh, this vlog uh, to ask about some more exercises. I will uh, easily put some more exercises down in the comments as well. Uh, if you have a problem uh, with something, uh, you're not strong, you're not um, explosive enough uh, in some way and something is difficult for you, please let me know and I will help you with it. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, and um, questions please below hey, hello uh, okay uh, it is uh, this morning of 23rd of January and I just had my first outdoor session of the year yes uh, I trained with uh, Fritz from uh, HBS first man's team uh, on Pinoke yes there's Pinoke um, and as you can see the blow up pitch where I, what I said from Amsterdam is right over here. Very immense. Um, and tonight I'm gonna have also my first outdoor session of uh, Dragon. So I'm also heading to Dragon uh, today. And uh, there I will put in some clips. So have fun. Alles <laughs> I hope you enjoyed my hockey vlog. If you do so, please let me know. And also, if you have a question, please let me know in the comments, of course. Uh, I will respond to everything. So uh, please like it um, and share it if, uh, if you want. Yes. See you next time.